Good morning all, I'm glad that you're here. It is Monday today, but it is a vacation day. But be still outside, just having a good time. Digging in the deep snow. Hi buddy, good morning. I have a question for you. Did you open up all these cabinets last night? Hmm? Did you open up all the cabinets last night? Yeah, cause you're a little cabinet cat. You're a little cabinet cat. <laughs> Yeah, good morning, bud. Oh, I missed you so much. I must have opened up all three of these cabinets last night. <sighs> Alright, a lot of time has passed since the last clip. I am in the formerly pink room, the very, very echoey formerly pink room, where there's still a lot... Sorry, this light keeps coming on and off. I don't know why. It might need a new battery. Um, but anyway, we're in the formerly pink room. It's very dark in here now. We need to get a new battery for this light stand because Dave had taken the light out a while ago. We got the steamer started. That's what that sound is. And there's still a lot of wallpaper to be taken off of. Like, there's just as much as last time because I have not done any work off camera. Like, we've still got a lot of stuff to do in here. So I'm gonna figure out this light situation. I'm going to be listening to some music. We got this little speaker guy going and I'm gonna do some work. I'm gonna get a little work done. All right, so we've done enough wallpaper peeling for the night. It's not done yet, but there are two whole walls that are done, and then I think another hour should probably clean up the rest of what's in there. I have another day off tomorrow, so we can get more stuff done tomorrow. I don't know what that stuff's gonna be yet, <laughs> but I need to do like laundry and stuff. So we're probably gonna go up to my parents at some point. Should probably go to the gym tomorrow morning, just because like I, I haven't gone today and I should have, I like kind of wanted to. I don't know, I'm so differently motivated right now, especially when it comes to the gym. Like I don't feel like it's a huge top priority. I feel like for the most part, I mean, even though right now I'm cooking pasta for Dave and I, I think for the most part I eat pretty well and I'm not super interested or I don't feel like I have to go to the gym all the time to feel good or to feel good about myself. So I think that's kind of like the transition feeling about the gym at the moment is going from it makes me feel better like physically. I think it's just kind of a transition I'm having about the gym. Like I don't feel like I need it to feel happy at this point. Like I'm just having a good time. Since like June, I wanna say, once Dave and Mala got here, like this that amount of time from June until now, it's been really, really good for me. And I've felt really, really good. I'm just really happy where life is. And especially lately, I've just been thinking about the people that can't be here during it. And then the people who have chosen not to be here during it, just kind of dealing with the feelings of people who exited my life and just not having the control over it and being okay with that and recognizing that life is still okay because of it. Like life is still okay despite of it, I should say. I've got some water boiling. Tomorrow's gonna be a busy day of stuff. Good morning all, I'm glad that you're here. As you've seen, I've edited a video this morning and it is currently being uploaded. I've gone from coffee to no chocolate almond milk and we are getting ready to head up to my parents' house. I've got a lot of stuff that I need to do up there. I need to do laundry because we still don't have a washer dryer, which is a pain, but is also an excuse to go up and see my parents and they'll never turn that down. So and then we have a few more things that we want to try and do while we are up north and yeah, let's see if we can get it done. I need to pack up the laundry now. <laughs> Look at that corner. Look how neat it is. It's never gonna stay like that because now it's like over here is a mess. 
and then they've got Mount Dave over there. It's the last day of the little extended break and now it's just working for that February vacation. So Mala is refusing to ride in the very back of my car. She doesn't want to. She keeps running away. She's running around all of the inside of the car. She just doesn't want to. And it's not like her to run away from Dave. <laughs> And this is why we need to get a divider cage thing. Get done. <laughs> we'll get you a hammock. <laughs> <laughs> I am happy now. I am happy dog. <laughs> so we popped over to Bangor Motorsports. You can't see the sign, it's right there. I think it's gonna fit my head. No. It looks tiny. Don't stretch oh. my helmet out with your fat head. That fits all right. Look at your cheeks! <laughs> Don't break my new helmet on your fat head! Huh? <laughs> we went and got me a snowmobile helmet so Dave can take me out on the snowmobile because I am not all that outdoorsy. <laughs> I go in the outdoors for other reasons. But now we're gonna go meet my aunt because she's gonna coach a softball team this year and she's got some old equipment and stuff. There hasn't been a softball team at my cousin's school for like years and years and years. I'm gonna go over there and give her my input on what equipment is junk and what sort of things they need. Like they don't even have any softballs. So we're gonna head over there. I'm gonna type it into the GPS so it will drive us there. We're about 12 minutes away. I'll probably beat her there to be fair. Well I'm so washed out I should probably turn down the uh the light on this. Too pale. <laughs> it's winter! <laughs> I'm gonna be pale. You're pale. No, I'm not. You're pale boy. <laughs> Hello there. It is Monday afternoon. I've just gotten out of work. I'm making myself a little avocado toast sandwich thing because I am a millennial and I am proud. I am running a hitting clinic up in Brewer tonight. I ran one last Wednesday and I'm running another one next Wednesday. I'm doing a three part hitting clinic up there, which is really good because I love softball. Been helping my aunt get softball stuff going at my cousin's school, which is now gonna be a club, which I think is a really good direction for that program to go in, to start as a club and work its way up to a competitive team. Especially, you know, seeing the stuff that they do have and what they still need to get. I think it's a really good decision. I think it's a really good choice. So I'm making myself a little snack now because I've got to leave in two and a half hours want to have a snack and I have some to do things on the list like I need to get fingerprinted again for work so I need to do that having a little Oreo snack as well so yeah I'm gonna try to take care of some of this stuff that was probably words sure so I've got to find a way to close this vlog out so we're just gonna do it in the bathroom because why not so last you saw I was on my way to a softball clinic up in Brewer and I don't know what happened. My brain malfunctioned, I forgot how to tell time, and I ended up being 25 minutes late. I was so pissed. I was so pissed. The girls were really good about it. The facility was really good about it. I just felt really bad. I hate being late to things. I just didn't tell time right. I don't know how that happened. I just did not tell time. So I ended up being late to that, which was annoying. But tomorrow I have a coaching clinic, which I'm really excited about. I'm really loving the time right now because I have, because there's lead ups to softball season. There's the coaching clinic, there's these clinics that I've been doing with the girls for batting up in um, Brewer and it's just nice. It's gonna be so awesome to be able to spend seven hours tomorrow just focusing and talking about softball because honestly, I could do that all day long. I could just talk about softball for hours and hours if someone would let me. If anyone ever wanted to sit down and talk about the game of softball and talk about softball stories, coaching stories, playing stories, questions, just I could do it. I could do it so easily. It's always, always, always been such a huge passion for me and I'm so glad that I get to, get to still be a part of that world and part of that universe. It's just something I don't see me giving up. I've been trying to 
take a look at my YouTube channel and like assess as I always do about you know what is successful, what content of mine gets the most traffic, how to market myself on other platforms like Twitter, I'm all over Twitter and I think right now where I am there's so much stuff happening in real life and I only ever want YouTube to supplement my real life. I want it to be a way for me to showcase what's happening but what I think I do need to do more of in either my vlogs or sit down content is actually give my opinions on things and don't get me wrong I have opinions I've got opinions but I want to do things like a book review or a book summary and like things to do with books or things to do with events and all these things but I always get into this mindset that my opinion is just another opinion in a sea of opinions and like what I think doesn't truly matter in the grand scheme of things and I think that's kind of true of everyone's opinion like, as far as like reviews of things my biggest thing let's let's give an example because I don't feel like I am expressing myself well let's talk about books let's put this in the context of books I've read a few books I feel like at the end of the day it doesn't matter if I liked it or if I didn't like it and I always feel like if I didn't like it like obviously then that content was not for me it was not made for me what allows me that that right or that platform to say this piece of content is not good in my opinion it's not made for me not for you why does it matter if I liked it or not who cares if I liked it or not like those are the things that kind of go through my head it doesn't matter if I didn't like it because someone else is going to it doesn't matter if I loved something because someone else is not going to like you know what I mean it just I feel like it's kind of hard to explain I feel like I need to more write this out and try to articulate it better because I don't feel like I'm doing that right now but at the end of the day I want to put out my feelings on this channel more because this is my space of the internet. This is my corner, this is my slice, and you can choose to be a part of it or you can choose to not be a part of it. If my opinion's not something that you wanna listen to, you could always leave. I'm also of the mind that if it's not nice, you don't have to say it. Like, there's no point in adding more negativity to the world, no matter what the form, no matter what the context, no matter what the topic. It just doesn't need to be out there if it's negative or if it hurts someone's feelings. I don't know. I don't know. Am I making sense? I don't think I'm making any sense. Okay. I'm going for a crumpy look tomorrow. We'll see what happens. Real professional. I'm going to end this vlog here. Let me know how you feel about opinions. Do you want to hear my opinions? Do you just not give a flying f***? Let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you feel like it. Subscribe if you want to see more and I will see you next time.